Okay, so for this exercise, let's see, I, I, uh, I'm I looking at, and I see a greatest common factor on the numerator. You see that here? Let me get a, a, a brush going here. You see how I have a 3x squared and a 15x? So I can divide both of those by 15. See, I'm not even looking at that denominator, right? I'm just looking at the top. I see I can divide both of those by x. I can also divide them both by 3. So some of you were having a little bit of a hard time doing this earlier. So let me write it out like this. And I'm going to divide when it's one. Remember, I'm factoring. I'm really dividing, right? So if I divide by 3x and 3x, 3 over 3 cancels. So I know I get a 3x outside, right? And then the x, x squared over x cancels just to an x. And then the 15 divided by 3 is 5. And then the x's are gone because they took care of them. So I, if I did distribute that back, I would get the original function, the original expression. Now in the denominator, I see x cubed minus 25x. Well, I only see an x. See, can take the lowest power of x out, right? See, I, I, this had x squared and x. I could take an x out. Here I have an x cubed and x. I can still only take an x out. So and remember, I'm dividing both of those by x and we subtract exponents. So that becomes x squared minus 25. A difference of two squares, right? So that becomes x over x plus 5 times x minus 5. Remember those different two squares. So then what simplifies? Well, I hope you see. So I can hash out that x minus 5. And I can hash out the x. Because there's x over x is 1. So what's left? Uh, I'm seeing 3 over x plus 5. And I'm going to kind of be lazy here and not enter it in. Um, let's just use that answer key. 3 over x plus 5. All right. So yeah, I got it right. So hopefully that helps.